Hello friends, I am Krishna Vishnu Priyan doing my graduate diploma in IT networking in Nelson Marlboro Institute of Technology. Today I am here to do my fourth educational video session, screencasting in my VMware labs. Its title as Configuring VMware vCenter Single Sign-On. Um, this lab will be demonstrated in the upcoming session. The main objectives of this course is to use a vSphere web client to add the domain admin group to administrators. The prerequisites for this lab to be completed are the vCenter web client that you must install and configure in the lab 26 uh, which is provided by the VMware lab manual and log into the web client portal HTTP server server appliances name dot domain name into 29443 port number with the vSphere client link. Uh, vCenter server appliance single sign on SSO administrator name and the password the windows domain the domain administrator name and the passwords uh, with our fully qualified domain name fqdn as you know like my domain name is charan.net701.co.nz uh, in order to do our single sign on we need to go into our uh, vSphere client we need to open um, HTTPS. vCenter server dot n eighty seven zero dot code and zip the port number nine four four three. In order to log in, we need to type administrator at vSphere dot local uh, with our password. Uh, obviously, we get our warning certificate since we are into our server. So once we type here, ADM minus you are at your on the part vSphere dot local tab pass administrator yep once our plan got login we need to go to our administrator tab instead of administrator tab we need to go to our configuration tab and identify sources and we need to add our identify sources uh, you have already added but I am going to demonstrate in order for the screencasting session this should be open L open LD AP session source type and the name must be charan.net701.co.nz it's not need to give a full uh, name with the computer's name so I just uh, have my NET seven zero now domain name alone. Then the basic DNS for users is, and all these uh, details have been will be uh, added in our below YouTube video link in the description, where uh, all our uh, information will be added here, added in the YouTube description, and the information will be added like this uh, with the all our domain uh, credentials. .nz. the primary server URL will be uh, as mentioned here our server URL is ldap colon net and the port number 389 highlighted this one we can just type this one there and once it's all then just click ok with the administration you uh, specifically you should specify the username administrator entity 701.co.ng and your password uh, which is a basic uh, link to connect it to our server so once it's all done just click ok since I already done I click it cancel so once it's done this will be added here this is our active directory single zone on session credentials once you type all the credentials we can we should first test the connection uh, we will get a successful uh, connection as been said uh, so that it's sure we make sure that we are not done any mistakes while typing this or else just verify cross check with your domain name and the credentials what uh, I have used here so that like it will match and definitely you will get a connection in the previous labs you have done correctly uh, so we will proceed to the next step so now we need to create the users and groups for single sign on already I have my users and users uh, as I mentioned like this for, for the screen caching purpose I am doing this lab again and uh, maybe it will be informative for you guys too. 
scroll down to administrators and the to create a new group vspa.tokal it should be our domain name nt70.co.nz and uh, these are all the users what are created you can create um, screencasting groups screen just click uh, ok and I'm just once our groups has been created for our administrator uh, it will be listed down below here uh, here I have a group called administrators on the ESXi host with the Doro symbol and thus thus our single sign on uh, VMware lab 6 has been completed successfully um, as per our lab manual for the VMware and to have like more uh, knowledge on the VMware single sign on you can visit this VM single sign on uh, blog uh, it's really informative where uh, it's mentioned uh, for what we are using the single sign on we send a single sign on as a new feature of vspo 5.1 that is not used an authenticated broker but also a security token exchange providing a more secure way of accessing your vspo solutions what that means is that when you previously logged into vcenter server you are authenticated with the provided username and password against the active directory configured for vcenter server with vcevo 5.1 and vcenter single sign on you are no longer directly into vcenter server but with a security demand defined by your vsps server which can be configured with multiple identity sources like active directory and open ldap on successful authentication your username and password is exchanged for a security token which is then used to access the vspa components like vcenter server and vcenter orchestrator etc Mm, this diagram explains uh, briefly and uh, even our uh, this one when we go to your home we can view our recent orchestrator v clouder networking storage vm templates ocean clusters will have all our machines what we have created inside our uh, virtual virtual uh, client in the web client uh, here we have done many labs so it will be like looking a little complicated so this blog is really informative guys people uh, with vcenter1 vcenter02 and vco with the vshield and vcloud director we are creating our uh, single sign on and uh, more information will be provided in this blog i don't want to just read this one for you guys um, this one has a total architecture of our uh, single sign on web client v center inventory svc apache for a vc unit load balancer sso server with uh, the primary one on the ha backup with shared database uh, manual export and import for our files using the netapp storage what we are done in the modules any netapp modules and even this vCenter vSphere 5.1 documentation center will be helpful for any guidelines in case uh, you go wrong in any of the lab manual of steps. Uh, they are using the vSphere web client administration tool like understanding vCenter single sign on, way to begin and uh, the steps. Uh, there are some uh, PDF copies for our uh, BMR labs uh, which might be helpful for you guys to do for uh, your screen casting or else for uh, while uh, going through your labs new folder remember we install configure um this lab manual uh, really as this is lecture manual yeah and uh, yeah this is the lab manual chat Yeah, this one has all the labs for our VMware to be completed. Um, this is the lab what we had done configuring VMware we send a single sign on for the screen casting purpose will be denominated for me. Hope so I done it successfully and it will be helpful for you guys who for performing this lab. Thank you. Have a nice day.